Okay, 1930 and MB stands for Mike Bouch. And these are a couple of horseshoes. And then you can see there's a pipe coming out of here. And this is called the cistern. And what it was is the well is down by the house in that little building by the house. And uh, there used to be a larger building there years ago and they had a pump on an engine in there which would force the water uphill to fill this tank. And when the tank was full, they just shut that off. So they only filled it when they were there or whenever a gas engine. And then uh, gravity from all the pressure of this water fed down to the barn in the house or whatever. So we're gonna take a look in here. I haven't had this open in a lot of years, but. Now. two feet of water in here and that was the way it was 30 years ago and it didn't matter if we had a drought or a lot of rain it didn't matter it was always two feet of water left in here and I never got down in here to figure out you know, it didn't matter but this is just as shiny as can be these walls look in excellent shape I don't know how much this holds what do you think this holds for for water I'm gonna guess Gosh. at least 3,000, 4,000. Yeah, that's what, that was gonna be my guess. Anywhere from two to 4,000. Well, our burner spreader is uh, 1,400. I'm just trying to gauge it off of like those big poly tanks. Yeah. Like looking at it. Right. It's probably what? This is big, this is at least 12 feet across on the bottom. And it almost, it's like a, a funnel that's upside down. But yeah, they made these and they're not legal to use for selling milk anymore, but so this one just happened to be here. But I think this is, it's in excellent shape. It's up on a hill here. It's out of everybody's way. And then uh, we have this windmill, but my wife and I, we, we got this for our, our, our anniversary back in 93. We didn't, uh, this, there was no windmill on this farm, according to the people before us. But that, but we did get it. We're, um, it was in excellent shape. We did set it up because we just thought it would be something nice to, to do. But, but yeah, this is kind of cool. This is definitely something I think will be here longer than I'll be alive. So. And you see here, there's a there's a piece of wire in here. So they must have they must have made this on the ground and put wire in it to kind of keep it all from coming apart. Like rebar. Yeah. And the, and the thing is, the lid is pretty heavy. So it's not like a little person's gonna just pull that off of there. It's gonna take somebody that's probably a lot smarter than, than not, not gonna be worrying about it being an issue. And I think there's, there's farms. I remember when we were kids, there was farms with this on. They, they were using them yet. The guys who had beef cattle or something, and, and uh, they were still feeding out of that. There might be a few in use yet. Um, it's more about the sanitation of the water. I think if you, I believe if you ran enough water through it, it would be fine. Yeah. I think it probably acts the same as the wall would be on the ground like that. Yeah. It's more about, I think, keeping everything sealed. So typically with a well, you got to have a sealed cap so no nothing foreign gets down in there. Because as soon as you drill a hole through the earth, you're inviting in something that naturally wouldn't go in there. It would have to get filtered through all the soils and rocks and sand. And, so this is the way around here anyway instead of having like a water tower in your town that they have to put up on a stand in order for the and then the gravity of the water adds the pressure you, so you, you could only about imagine and I've even thought of actually doing this where we, we could fix this up so that we could have this full of water it'd be like a like a fire thing we could have a fire hydrant down there. Maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> An emergency water source. And you could imagine how much water, how that would come out of here. Yeah. It would be kind of cool. I mean, you could even have a pump with it, but you need capacity. Some areas, I know that's always an issue. You always look some places, you don't notice any homes built. And the well driller told me this. He said, there's places not too far from us. He said, we cannot find water. So you wonder why there's no homes built in those areas. The, the people own land or maybe have crops or... Or hunting and stuff that you know, they, they can't get a well going. Yeah. 